Most people recognize the outward signs of aging, thinning or gray hair, wrinkles or age spots on the skin, shrinking or stooping posture. Just like the visible signs of aging, there are internal signs of aging that are important to recognize in the care of older adults. These are not pathological or related to disease, but expected changes the body goes through due to cellular aging. For example, the kidney experiences significant changes with aging. The number of nephrons, or filtering units, decreases as we get older, affecting our ability to filter waste material from the blood. We measure kidney function with glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. Even if plasma creatinine levels do not change over time, your GFR will decline with age and decrease muscle mass. Let me draw your attention to these three individuals. Their plasma creatinine levels are all the same at 0.8. However, their GFRs are dramatically different. A GFR of 60 or more indicates normal kidney function. Using this cutoff, the 85-year-old woman on the right with a GFR of 46 has functional kidney impairment. This is a good reminder not to look only at the plasma creatinine, but to calculate GFR when assessing kidney function. This is best done using calculations that take age, sex, and weight into account, like the Cockroft GALT, or the modification of diet in renal disease, or MDRD formulas. The liver shows changes with aging as well. Liver cells decrease in size and number, leading to a decrease in the total liver volume, resulting in decreased blood flow through the liver. Yet, liver enzyme levels should remain normal. Despite normal liver function labs, older adults will have a decreased ability to metabolize substances processed by the liver. This includes alcohol and many medications, increasing the risk of toxicity for this patient population. The liver also produces less bile with aging, increasing the risk of gallstone formation and decreasing the ability to tolerate fatty foods. In the GI tract, the stomach may become less resistant to cellular damage, increasing the risk of peptic ulcer disease, especially with the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. As well, the large bowel and rectal contractions may slow, causing an increase in constipation. Involuntary loss of muscle mass is another significant change with aging. Loss of muscle mass, or sarcopenia, is caused by biochemical, neuromuscular, and endocrine changes with aging and results in potential decrease in functional mobility. The brain arguably goes through the most significant changes with normal aging. After the age of 40 years, the volume of white matter, which consists of axons, or the tails of neurons, within the brain continuously decreases. In the study of normal brain aging, there's a concept called last in, first out. This refers to the finding that the more complex neural connections that form during childhood development are the first to show the wear and tear of aging. This is due to the thinning of the myelin sheath, which protects and insulates axons. This largely affects the corpus callosum, which is the part of the brain that allows the right and left hemispheres to communicate. The result is decreased nerve signaling and slowed retrieval and response times. In contrast to white matter, as we age, there is very minimal change in gray matter volume. The gray matter consists of neuron cell bodies, which have very little natural deterioration throughout most of the brain. However, there are changes with aging in synaptic function. For example, in the central nervous system, the speed of the synaptic transmission decreases a few milliseconds every year, starting at the age of 20. The affected complex neural networks include memory, executive function, and language pathways. Clinically, this looks like a decreased ability to multitask, somewhat slowed speech, and difficulties finding the right word. The temporal lobes also show changes with normal aging, impacting our spatial navigation abilities. This means that even healthy older adults may avoid new environments and restrict themselves to familiar places as navigating new spaces becomes more difficult. The cerebellum is the only part of the brain 
that does show complete neuronal loss with age. This results in slowed reaction times and reduced motor coordination. However, these changes do not affect gait speed, which is maintained with normal aging. Interestingly, the parietal lobes, which are affected in Alzheimer's disease, do not show significant changes that would be associated with normal aging. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.